Hello and welcome to another IELTS essay correction. The question today is, some people feel that politicians have the greatest influence while others believe scientists make the greatest contributions to the world. Give your opinion. So it's between politicians and scientists. This essay discussion will, be, will focus on the development of arguments. How exactly should you work on arguments and try to write specific things? without making any repetitions no repetitions no reps okay let us come to the introduction first the student has written the first sentence is fine the second sentence is also fine there are few things that need to be changed some people give all credit to scientists there's no need of saying great scientists for their useful inventions while others believe uh, that politicians, not prominent politicians, all politicians played, they, not, they did not play, they play, they did not played, they play, it should be a present tense, they play a major role in making this world a better place. So this is fine. The problem begins with the next sentence. It seems as if it is a repetition of the previous one. Some thinkers are good as scientists work seriously for the benefit of humanity. So this is same as making inventions. There is no need of writing this that work for the benefit of humanity. Uh, you are merely repeating the idea in different words. While politicians use people for their own benefits. This is a negative statement. And try to avoid a negative statement in your answer. Um, so, for instance, there are scientists and there are politicians. If you are speaking just in favor of scientists, do not say that politicians didn't do anything. Try to maintain that, okay, scientists played a major role while politicians just perhaps facilitated the things. If you're writing about politicians, then write that, you know, it's a facilitation that matters. It is the systems that politicians have put in place that matter not the inventions itself. So the politicians play a major role and scientists do not. If you're in favor of both, try writing something good about both. Do not try to write a negative statement. And let me, yeah. I do not agree with this viewpoint. There is no need of saying I do not agree. Simply switch to I believe. The question nowhere says what you do not believe. The question says give your opinions. So that is, what do you think? What do you believe? Not what you do not believe. So I believe that both play an important role. Here you had used a past tense. Contributed, played, these are past forms of the verb. They need to be avoided. Next thing is, I base my statement on the following points. Of course, it is uh, obvious that in the, in the body paragraphs you will discuss whatever your opinion is. There's no need of writing this. It does not convey any meaning. So arguments have to be specific and there are no repetitions. We have tried to avoid repetitions over here and try to be specific by eliminating things which are not required at all. Okay, let us discuss body paragraphs. Yep, so this is body paragraph one. Um, the student has begun with an idea and the idea is fine. What is better is the explanation is also fine. Uh, the first sentence should be an idea. Usually body paragraphs proceed in this way. There is an idea which is expressed in one sentence and there is an explanation of the idea. It may be more than or equal to one sentence. So what is the idea? It is a fact that our brilliant scientists invented countless things. This is an idea that they invented a number of things for the betterment of humanity. Now the next sentence should explain the idea. That is, it should explain what are those countless things and how they benefit it. Now we can talk on the mobile phones, travel intercontinental distances and enjoy excellent health facilities services due to their hard work now this sentence suffers from a major parallelism issue what is parallelism you can click on the article over here and go through it i will just quickly 
point out the mistake now we can we can do three things now we can one two three so for what it is one here talk on mobile phones number one talk on mobile phones number two there's no need of can over here since can is can is applicable for all these statements so a one comma two comma three okay so the first word is talk here the first word should be a verb because talk is a verb so the first word should be a verb not can it should be a verb such as travel and here the first one should be a verb having is a verb however the form of verb should also be the same so it is talk not talking travel not traveling here you should write have not having this is parallelism go through the article over here and that will thing make things amply clear now here I would like to point out uh, some of the I'm sorry some of the mistakes the arguments related mistakes or specific related some specific things which the student has failed to write so if you write vague arguments vague arguments are those which do not make any sense for instance if somebody asks you tell me something about your hometown and you say it's a beautiful place I love this place it's a, it's a nice place to live nice little community it does not make any sense so you have to be concrete so things which are vague they are not concrete and they are not specific so we try to write things which are specific those those things fetch us pants so let us start from this point moreover they sacrifice their whole life in searching mysteries of life okay what are the mysteries of life what do you mean by mysteries of life not only is the idea not clear the student has not even explained the idea so there's a mistake in idea as well as the explanation is missing so this is this will uh, you know reduce your bands drastically the next is their contribution in making our lives comfortable cannot be ignored so what contributions are you talking about so until and unless you mention the contributions your idea is not uh, favorable to scoring higher bands because this is not concrete this is this is not specific it has to be concrete it has to be specific there is no doubt the scientists have a great impact on our life and reshaping the world so this is again a vague sentence all these sentences are vague in nature and they help to not help you score better so I have tried to write specific ideas and explanation just as a sample uh, you need not copy my ideas moreover scientists have increased our understanding of the earth and its various elements this has played so this is an idea understanding of earth and its various elements now what is the explanation this has played an instrumental role in taking preemptive measures to avoid catastrophes such as floods tsunamis and earthquakes this is a specific explanation okay scientists have improved the understanding and how has it helped in these ways okay also this is the next point also work of scientists has also shed light on evolution of humans this is the idea now in the same sentence using a connecting device which I have explained this idea which has helped revolutionize medicine and has saved countless lives so this is an explanation okay evolution of humans we have understood and how has it helped it has helped in these ways I hope you've understood how the things need to proceed now this paragraph also suffers from the same problem let us go through it um, the contribution this is body paragraph 2 the ideas are mentioned but they are not explained on the other hand the contribution of leaders cannot be undermined if an inventor creates that's a grammatical mistake creates a new thing a politician is the creator of the whole society so the point is that your idea is idea number one is that the politician creates the society however in the following sentence you have not explained the idea explain how the politician is creator of the society similarly the next sentence is 
He is like a mass communicator who has a power to give right direction. What do you mean by the right direction? So idea two is related to right direction, but you have not explained what do you mean by right direction. So idea one is a bit vague. What do you mean by whole society? That's not clear. Explanation is of course not clear. Idea two is a bit again vague in nature. What do you mean by right direction? And explanation is again missing. You have just written, he has millions of followers and a good politician can help in making a great nation. Again, this is not concrete in nature. Um, the example itself is, has, has various issues, but I won't, I won't go into those details right now. Here is something I've tried to do for making things more clear, more uh, concrete in nature. Now here, um, I, let me explain it a bit. Yeah. Um, here I have tried to give a sample of how things should have proceeded. So again, you may, may not copy my ideas, but this is the structure that should have been followed. So first is the opening sentence of this paragraph, despite the contributions of scientists. So writing this is important since it links with the previous paragraph. Despite the contributions of scientists, the role of politicians is equally important in implementing the latest inventions. Now this is idea one. This is idea one. And what is the idea? To commercially implement an invention, that is a scientist's work. We need teamwork between scientists and politicians. So the focus is on teamwork. And in the next sentence, you should expect an explanation. You should explain how that teamwork comes into being and how that teamwork plays an important role in in shaping um, a better future or in, in, in explaining these um, ideas. For example, while the team of scientists led by Norman Borlo, this, this is an example I've taken from the Green Revolution, which was extremely successful in the 1960s. While the team of scientists, so this is the role of scientists led by Norman Borlaug, invented high yielding varieties of crops, it was the systemic support, again I'm being very specific, systemic support from politicians in India, Pakistan and Mexico, even the United States, I've not mentioned over here, the United States played a major role in implementation of the Green Revolution. Um, it was the systemic support from politicians in India, Pakistan, and Mexico that led to the birth of the Green Revolution. Again, everything is specific. Please note that. Politicians offered support, I should have written, unbridled support that would have added a good collocation. Unbridled. unbridled support of bureaucrats, banks, and universities to implement this invention. So the role of scientists is important. However, the role of uh, politicians is equally important. That is evident through the teamwork of scientists and politicians. So this is how you should write ideas and explain them. I hope this video helped you in development of arguments and understanding how they need to be specific while avoiding repetitions. Thank you for watching the video and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned with latest updates.